We're going to wrap up this week with nouns. That, uh, I know it's the third day in a row with nouns. We're going to continue it next week because there's, there's so much to know about nouns. Uh, today we're really just kind of going to wrap up our introduction into nouns and, and have you keep finding nouns and sentences because that's the whole goal. I know you've seen this chart here every day, but, but a real good chart, a real good summary of what a noun is, a person, place, or thing. Again, you can throw in animals. We are going to focus on this idea here that, that's coming up next week. Okay, that's really important too because those are nouns. But uh, focusing on things really that you can see, that you can touch, uh, those, those, that'll help you out as far as what is a noun. But the tricky part again is making sure that you can see them in sentences. So take a look at these so we're going to try to find some nouns in these sentences here so as we take a peek at uh, number one if you read it here try to always think what is a person place or thing if you look at number one it says i live in the state of texas well i know a state that whoops sorry that's a terrible circle state is a thing and texas is a place should capitalize but that's coming up a little bit later in common or profit nouns so there we go we got uh, everything that's a person place a thing in that sentence number two do you think that stan is your best friend well let's see here i go kind of backwards final person I know Stan, I might not know anybody named Stan, in fact I don't, but I know that Stan is the name of a person. So those are the two nouns there. Hey, cool. Number three, I must say that Sarah is a very smart student. Here we go, Sarah. I do know somebody named Sarah. That's a person. And student, that's a person too. You guys are students, huh? Those people. Number four, and this is, by the way, exactly what you're going to be doing later for your assignment. The Dodgers are a good baseball team. Well, in this case, it's Dodgers. Those are people. And team. Well, that, that's a thing, too. Or maybe you can argue it's people, but in this case, thing. Now, now here's a tricky part about nouns, because you might see this a lot. You know, some of you guys might say baseball. And if you would have a different sentence, like, say, the baseball is very light. That's true. Then baseball is a noun. But in this case, baseball is describing which team, right? So in this case, baseball is, is an English word that's called an adjective, a describing word. That's coming in quite a few weeks, but, but uh, you got to make sure you're knowing what the person, place, or thing is. And in this case, the thing is a team, and baseball simply describes which team. So please focus on that. Okay, let me uh, let's get to your assignment here because this is really pretty much well exactly the thing you're going to do here. So as we move on here, simply put, in each sentence there's two nouns. They're not going to underline it like yesterday. They're just a sentence, and you're going to find two nouns. So write them on the line here. This is exactly what your sentence looks like. Please again note there are two nouns. A lot of past third grades just write one noun. Please write two for each sentence. Look at number one, a farmer plants corn. You might have already got it already. There's only four words, two of them are nouns. A farmer, where is that? Here we go. A farmer, that person, corn, that's a thing. So you write farmer and you write corn here in the line. You find found two nouns. You can head on to the next one. Hey guys, happy Friday. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend. It's a crazy stages.